Rockwell put in a number of really telling and really interesting details in the painting. This has been pointed out by an art historian recently, but the, the, all of these buttons are, you know, talked about different aspects. A lot of there were a lot of sort of buttons and things that were symbolic of, you know, whether you had a family member in combat, uh, this is her Red Cross pin, uh, but they almost form a little bit of a, a necklace um, around her and are one more sort of sign of a tr sort of traditional um, feminine kind of qualities. Um, the other is here with the compact and um, the handkerchief that you could barely see out of, out of her pocket. And that those, those, to me, sort of balance the, the, the almost the, the very manly or masculine qualities of her arms um, as, as well. So there's a nice balance between the masculine and the feminine in the work. Um, and then finally, going to the bottom, um, there, there are two things I love about just this, you know, just this little passage here, just a little part of the painting. Um, one is that she's, of course, stepping on Mein Kampf. Um, so she's literally stomping out the enemy. Um, she's doing it in a very, you know, casual way. I mean, she's, her whole sort of expression and the way that she's, she's sitting, she has a confidence, but she also has almost a disdainfulness of how dare these people think that they can overcome, you know, the greatness of that is the American people. Rockwell is an artist who really does construct things from details to make a whole. Um, so the details are, they give an, a, another sense, the details, he uses details to really bring home that realism. But it's the details that give a sense of her as a real individual. I mean, that shoe is worn. It's, you know, we know that she's been wearing that for a long time. It's comfortable, it's worn in. Um, same with the details of her clothing, the, you know, even the down to the details of the, kind of the grease that's on, the, on her arms. Um, so all of those things take something that is a very classic or classical even sort of pose and update it into a really specifically American and 1940s context. And that was what he was great at.